Thompson coming to you live. This is Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. We're going into the trot now with our shoulder in and traverse, which is haunches in. That's it. You can feel him taking. That's all right. Put them together more until you feel almost like he's going to back up with his shoulders. And then let him flow in the longer steps. Good. Good, Susan. Woohoo! How does that trot feel? Good. Look at him. That's it. A little lighter in the rain so that he has the appearance of opening his throw it latch. That's right. So you're going to give him a little bit longer rain and try to. There. He's over tracking about four inches right now, so you know. Good. And then he'll get too quick, but you know, that's what's going to happen. That's it. More activity. Yep. And the hard part will be keeping him under your seat as you do it. But that's exactly where you are with his training right now. Good. Keep him under your seat with a half halt. Half halt before you start your whatever movement you're going to do. Half halt, send him forward. Half halt, send him forward. Half halt and flow and praise. Good, good. Good. Good, Susan. And then come down the center line so we keep finding new places. We're going to do a shoulder in. That's right, half haul, put them together. Good, good, yep, that's it. And he's gonna drop it by me because he thinks I should be giving him treats. That's it, praise him. You can feel he's at half, half, the half bake there. It's almost like he doesn't wanna come through. That's exactly where he is in his training. Yeah. So when you feel him get stuck, you might either have to shorten the frame a little bit more or send him forward. That's where you're gonna figure out, well, what can you do to get him more connected? And it's a, it's a guessing game at this point. You don't know whether you should shorten him French style or lengthen him in the German style. You just are trying to find a way for him to connect. And good. Look at that, Susan. Keep a feel on your right rein. That's right. The rein shouldn't be bouncing. Good, good. If the reins are bouncing, he's not really balanced between your aids. That's it. Connect him more. And more from behind. More. More. More forward. Right there. There. Feel it. You're starting to feel when he's swinging now. So if you're not feeling that swinging, he's not moving his back end right. That's it. That trot's perfect. Do you feel this trot? Woo! That's it. Now try it at this trot. Good. Just think three second half halt. Let him go. So you have to give him a half halt and let him go at least every, you know, every six or seven steps there. Good. Praise him. Good, Susan. Good. He's over tracking and the shoulder in, Susan. Woohoo! That's a big step. He couldn't do this last year. So this shows you how much he's been changing his balance and how he's using his body. Yes, now you're getting the flow. You feel it? Yeah. Good. Remember, you'll still have to do a half halt in each corner. That's right, half halt. So he gets back together, bring his body together, round him up a little more. Good, and then you set, create that flow. Good. That's it. Good. Now trot around the ring and feel when you need to use a shoulder in or the traverse just to get him back where you want him. So this is the purpose of the shoulder in and the traverse is to be able to put the horse together with them. So whatever trot you do, whatever trot, open his throat latch just a little bit. That's right. Whatever trot he does, now you're going to say, do I need to do a shoulder in or a traverse to get him under your seat more? Of course, each one has to have the half halt with the breath first. Half halt, send him forward, because we want him to, he can feel you taking that breath. Good, because we've seen him reacting to it. This is the first time we've added the breath like this to a half halt. Good. Right there, feel what he's doing. Do something, a shoulder in or a traverse, whichever one you feel might work. And then forward right away. Praise him. Good. Then he'll drop it right here because they all do. So do one of them. Okay, good. Good. Shoulder in in every corner just because it's convenient. That's it. You feel it. That's it. Bring more activity. Good. And you've got to watch.
catch him because sometimes what he'll do is slow down and not round up. Right. Like every other horse that's learning this. Good, Susan. Good, that's it, that's it. Send him forward quickly. That's it, praise him. Good. That's it. Now you're using the lateral movements the way they were designed to improve the gates. You can start, you're starting to feel it, aren't you? Try to do movements off the wall. Get on the center line, quarter lines, anywhere but just on the wall. That's right. Get them more active right away. More active. That's it. Praise them. Praise them. Good, good. Good boy. Because that's one of his issues, as we know, is sometimes he shuts down. So we're going to try to find a way to get him past that. Good, get them more active. Every corner, you gotta get them more active. Good, use of your corner. Good, Susan. That's it. Good, look at the nice connection you have with your reins now. Nice, even feel on both reins. He's coming from your legs up into your hand. Good. Woohoo! That was nice, Susan. The halt, we'll just work on that because he's halting okay, but you know, he's dropping his head, but nothing like before. What did you feel changing when you added the round, the troppers and the shoulder in that way? I think working on it at the walk was got him loose and that rhythm of it at the, at the trot with that, that back to that leg on when the leg, one the inside leg is down, yes, kind of thing. Getting that, that was that nice. Rhythm of, that was his best shoulder in work yeah. and, and Travers that he's ever done. Yeah. Very